Hello, good evening and welcome. Hello, good evening and welcome. Hello, good evening and to the never ending echo, apparently. Um, yes, it's my god, my stomach's been making a noise. Um, for whatever reason, <laughs> the game has decided no, we like the other client. <laughs> We're going. We're going to view that one. Don't worry, it'll it'll grab this one in a moment. We hope. Yeah, give it a second. It'll grab the correct one. There we go. It's got it. Yes, this evening we're planning on big tunes time. Probably won't take the entire stream, uh, as long as we get a little bit of help. We're going to be heading to Naretvar Canyons. Can they look? Better nano running. What? Nano expertise, four hours. Uh Better nano running. Composite nano expertise. This is the fact that I've got some of the older ones. Yeah, there we go. Um, and they're slightly different somehow, which is kind of weird. But yeah. Exactly right. Yeah, they see like this one, eight hours, and yet it says the four hour one is better. Um, like, no, it isn't. <laughs> Godzilla or Godzilla. Welcome to the stream. Just waiting for a Savic to show up. Savic is online. So we said we'd go off and we'd do the Naretva Gatsila. <laughs> you did it. I, I got it right last time and now seem to have gotten it wrong. <laughs> right, I need to social media. Um, so give me a second while I go spamming the entire planet. Um... Change something on Facebook. Oh no, it's the back. <laughs> Groups disappeared. It's a lovely video by Funcom today. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it or you're aware of it. It's a long forum post mentioning uh, all the old devs, uh, Bitnik, Savik, and myself, plus quite a few other people uh, who have, uh, you know, been contributing to the AO community. Over the years, some more materially than others, obviously Savic and, and Bitnik for making um, the maps and Bitnik for getting all the AO music together, which is now available for free on Steam, which is kind of awesome. Um, and a forum post as well. Uh, where, 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 where? Oh, actually, it was on the Discord. That'll be probably quicker to get to. Uh, the forum post by Andy. Um, links you directly to uh, an interview with good old Gouter. And as I said, thanks very much for the post, Andy, and also, um, <laughs> and I've done name brackets, starts she old quests, raises fist to the air, Gouter! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, I've done it, I've complained about it so often, it's just a meme now. There is a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of, air quotes, padding in the Sheol quests. But, my God, there's a lot of XP, so, you know. Now, 
as you may be aware, or you may not, but I'll tell you anyway, I did redo my uh, Advi, so he's now pistol with some nice pistols and gear. However, he doesn't have a beta thigh, because he never looted one from 12, man, because I never really played him much around that time. I think I just zoned again. <laughs> I think I just zoned again. Yeah. Imagine if Dr. Hestia and Dr. Darnell had mobile phones, yeah. Gen it's not so bad when you've got um, an insurance beacon or a garden um, meep. That's slightly better. But I would like the beta thigh, and so would Savic on her fixer. So the plan we were talking about on Wednesday, Wednesday was, uh, well, let's do no, see if we can't get Naretvar done on our two tunes, see if anybody else wants to come along for the ride, have a little fun with us. So I'm a little ahead of the game. Savic was already online when I got back on. I've been on and off a bit today. Did a little bit with the fixer. Uh, the fixer. The um, little Advi. She is at an awkward little island, but the... I um, have to say that the... The outpost to her isn't ridiculously bad. There's Savic. Ahead of the game, as usual. And Savic is now 2.16. Yes, she is. Right, I'm thinking probably for most of this. I need to be... I think I'll go kitty cat for this. Do a bit more of extra damage. Now I'm morphed, I'll switch to chem. So his gear's not top rate. It's pretty good though, I've got to say. I mean, you've got the Twitch Pistol and the BBI Faithful, which are nice. Noah, have you done the Ret Var on that soldier or trader? I think you, your trader's about done, isn't he? You get the thigh and a ton of research and XP on one of your tunes. Well, it's not just the thigh, there's a massive amount of XP and stuff. Duncan, welcome to the stream. I did get your email, plural. <laughs> Thank you very much. If they were from you, I think they were from you. You said you were going to make the nano for me and then sent me about five nanos. <laughs> Thanks very much. Save me a lot of aggravation later. Yes, yeah, so thank you for that. Much appreciated. So I logged in this morning and went, oh, I've got fan mail. What's this? <laughs> went, went to check and went, ooh. So, yes, the, the little Advi now has on the Job Explorer pistol. I was 30 points off after doing a bit of twinking um, in full auto. And, of course, all the buffs for full auto are self-only on Soldier and most other classes. I think there's maybe one somewhere that you can, you can get. But, anyway... Um, I just levelled and put the IP in. I mean, I could have done it if I'd have just gone as far as... Um, I don't know, like... I mean, really, all I would need to do is put on some Lobby um, CSS or what have you, and I'd have been fine. Did I not do all this? Last time. I should really completely strip these hot bars and redo them. Now we're maybe joining us for the uh, the Naretva fun. He's just checking to see if any of his tunes need a thigh. Get the quests done. 
and just doing it for the XP. Yeah, there's a lot of research XP for each mission you complete, so you've got not just the mobs you're killing in there, but A, B, C, D, E, F and X. There's a lot of XP for those, completing each one. I blitzed down to Tara today just to do um, the regular daily that you get, you know, Tara tag. So I ran down for the VP points on my little lad V. I got, and it was like 15 minutes. There was no one in the in the top room, no one in the box room, and no one in the Tara room. I was like, oh. But apparently uh, a load of people showed up at the last minute because a world boss had spawned as well. There's no alien. Well, no, you're not fighting aliens in here, are you? Register 88, redeemed hydrate. I, I will hydrate slowly. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Ow, because that's a scalding hot cup of tea. Uh, so <laughs> I won't be goggling any of that. I see a wise guy. Welcome to the stream, wise guy. He may be in lurk mode. Yeah, it's research and regular XP, I d uh, because the things you fight, other than the very end, there's no aliens, is there? Yeah, get it on your NT, get your NT uh, done. Java. Hogerman, feel ignored. Are you on here looking for team? Welcome to the stream. I saw you just after the hydrate when I was burning my lips and mouth. Keen Aaron, I saw you sent me a message. I can't see messages while I'm streaming because I don't have um, Twitch open in a web browser. I have it open in Streamlabs. But you said you were having issues with... Um... Post the message on YouTube on the DG Voodoo thing. Uh, I'll try and figure out what the issue is. I didn't have time to read it before starting the stream. But you said something about little white dots everywhere when running the game. That is something, something going on, but I couldn't tell you what until I have a look through everything that you may have done. I just got back to game after a 20-year break, so trying to understand this crazy game again. Oh, yeah, there's a lot to relearn. Best thing you can do, uh, roll a fresh tune and just start with that and just play. Just start playing. Don't think about trying to learn the whole game. Just play the game from the very beginning where there's less to think about and keep going and by the time you've sort of hit 150 ish which you know it's only going to take you a couple of weeks you'll be like oh yeah i know what i'm doing now yeah post it there and because messages on um on twitch are weird they're hard to read and <laughs> and reply to etc Post it there, and if I haven't answered it in a day, someone else probably will have done anyway. Probably someone will say, oh, you just need to... Blah, blah, blah. I find that with a lot of my how-to and technical videos. I get that. I did get one post from a guy on... Uh, he, he posted on 
one of the latest videos saying, oh, I've got a GTX 3090 and a, a 3900 something or other series uh, AMD processor, yada yada. How is your game much smoother than mine? On the new engine. And I, so I said, oh, it could just be, it, it needs a bit of setting up. Here's the link to the how to tweak the new engine 2020 video. And then he made a comment on that video that went straight into the spam filter on YouTube because he started swearing all over it, saying, everything you did with your third-party software... It's like, it's not mine, mate. I, I'm not even capable of making that software. Um, you can do in NVIDIA Inspector. It's like, no, otherwise it wouldn't exist, you dolt. Um... Yeah, white dots are usually graphics and RAM-related artefacts, but it's AO. So I don't know if it is that. I did think that. They're usually coloured, not white, though. Hopefully it's nothing to do with the VRAM. Because <laughs> that's not a good sign. Yeah, post it there and I'll try and figure it out. Mortisol, welcome to the stream. Are you going to the world boss on that NT, Noah? And then coming. Have we started yet? No, no, no. You're more than welcome. No, oh, you were hiding in plain sight behind me. I see how it is. Yeah, two slots available if you want to come and do Noretva. Come along and join us. You're very welcome. Yeah, I don't know. He, I, I tried to make sense of what he but it was all eh, 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 swears, and, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, and he said, everything you did in that thing you could do in NVIDIA Control, I had to facepalm so hard. And I was like, no, you can't do all the same things in NVIDIA Control Panel that you can do in NVIDIA Inspector. Like, for one, you can't associate a game directly with another profile for stability because of all the hidden settings that you can't see in NVIDIA control panel that you can see in bloody NVIDIA Inspector, which is why NVIDIA Inspector exists in the first place, like enabling things like memory limits and, and, and frame lock and, oh my God. I mean, he was so completely and utterly wrong that it annoyed me in the first place. But the fact that he tried to blame me for NVIDIA Inspector and yada, and then all the Fs and Jeffs in it, I just left it in the spam folder, which means his, his comment will never appear on the channel. I mean, I saw it uh, because it said, oh, you know, comments on, on th this morning and there's like 30 comments and I was going through, yeah, answer that one, smiley face to that one, heart that one, that was nice, thank you on that one. You know, that kind of thing. And then this this essay, and I was like, oh, what's this? Oh, God. Yeah, well, that can just stay in the spam folder then. Because um, to be fair to um, uh, YouTube, they did put that in, and they, you just put on a bunch of, um, like, uh, words that will trigger a spam filter. So I don't mind people swearing on the channel if it's with good reason. When they're swearing directly at me for trying to help them, uh, I draw the line. Uh, 
on the 3080 have this game capped on my PC at over 200 FPS locked. I've always enjoyed your videos ever since the one with Sharp Tony's still around. <laughs> You've never steered anyone wrong ever. F that guy, man. Uh, well, he's banned. He got he, he, his um, post got him banned. I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> YouTube just went nah. Because they're, they're cracking down on people writing hateful comments on videos and things like that, especially if they're a, re a reply. So you know, <laughs> I didn't have to do. It. I I could have like allow. I could have gone allow comment, but I just didn't. I just left it. So it just it sits there now, where no one can read it. He can't even read it. Matter of fact. Oh, thank you very much. Anarchy! Subscribe at tier one. Thank you very much. Thing is, I'd have been feeling a bit more grateful that I had a 30 bloody 90, you know what I mean? <laughs> the chosen ones. Agent Zig, is that someone on stream? I'd love one. I've got a, I've got a 980. So what am I doing with my system that's giving me smoother anarchy online that he's not doing on his far superior system with his 3090? No, he's doing something wrong, in other words. It's as simple as that. So, you know, I don't know. It's just one of those that just sticks like a bit of a barb, yeah, knowledge. Uh, and there was no guide for what I did. I had to sit there and just go, try this one. I went through about 150 different probable, um, uh, like, you know, associated, uh, different games to associate AO with, like from Half-Life and loads of DX9 games and stuff like that, running the same circuit round Anarchy Online after a, f a fresh uh, system restart to eliminate anything floating in the RAM or anything like that until I found the one that crashed the least and it just happened to be one of the benchmark ones which is, uh, oh god, is it Unigin Heaven Demo? But not the, the main one, but the demo. People are still trying to do the SMAA fix and I can't remember the specifics. Um, I use, where is it? Yeah, there we go. That. That's all I do. <laughs> turn it, turn off uh, FXAA in the game. I even, I think I do say that in the, um, in the thing. Yeah, FXAA disabled, and then just use reshade for SMAA because it's very light and at 1440p which is what a lot of people are playing at these days it's especially with MMOs and stuff like that more and more people are playing at above 1080 so there's less aliasing anyway at higher resolutions I mean everything else has been done for us like anisotropic texture filtering you can ramp that up with no performance hit at all you know ground render i just have it set to shadows effects auto detect otherwise the fog can get a bit freaky i don't know why <laughs> right is that everybody this will be good as it's do starting on sunday oh is it that's kind of cool Blows my mind this game can handle 1080p. Oh, it can handle 2048 by 2048 on the old engine, but if you add two files with Anarchy Online Item Assistant, it can run at 4K. I mean, good luck reading anything on the GUI of 4K, but it'll run at 4K. Yeah, one more free spot for anyone who would care to join us. It cannot handle 522 by the game crashes instantly. Can if you put the files in. Yeah, it can. Do you want me to do it right now? 
as it can. Is that on old engine or new engine, Hoggerman? On the new engine. Right. Uh, mutagenic. Mortizil's running at 21 by 9. He's running 3,000 by 2,000. Oh, no, that's 4 by 3. Right, give me a sec. Give me a sec. This will be... <laughs> I bet I can do it, though. Give me two seconds. So you run a... Okay, I'll do it on the old engine. Bear in mind, my system is only capable of 1440p. 520... 5220. Is that... Are you spanning over two screens? Because you can, you can get it to do that as well. Due to got it to work on the new engine, and he was playing on th on three twenty one by nine screens. It was re it was yeah, it was enormous. Right, let's go to how are you going to see it? Let's go to display capture. Right, vanilla engine settings. Right, custom, so what did you say? 5220. Now I've got DSR enabled on the graphics card. I think it's trying to go full screen. Right, in which case... <laughs> was he nine ultra wide okay Trains resolution super dynamic resolution okay so if i go the highest i can set my system times four i can probably set that even higher dsr factors Right, I can go up to times four native resolution. That's as high as my system can go. Right. So dynamic super resolution. The closest I can get is 5120. So what it does is it goes between my two monitors. It does not place itself correctly on the monitor. See, I've got two different monitors at two different sizes. 5120. Okay, I'm going to say okay. So now this is my display. But the capture window's all to cock. Wait there. Okay. Okay, I've broken something. <laughs> oh God, what have I done? Oh, it's I. I get it. I get it. I know what I've done. I know what I've done. Huh? Gone for that. Oh my god, I'm gonna break something here. It was still counting down, wasn't it? Right, give it a second, and I'm gonna say yes, even though I can barely read it. Right, Anarchy Online, new engine you're using, yeah? What did you say yours is on? So five, 521 by 1440. Okay. There you go. 
not gonna do it like that. Let's try again. Five one twenty, yeah. Uh, running window borderless. There we go. You over there vaping, you hipster, <laughs> hipster old man that doesn't smoke anymore. It's instead of smoking. So there you go, the game does run at that resolution. However, I don't think I'll be keeping this resolution. Hold on. Yeah, it's because I'm capturing the desktop at this size. There you go. That's my GUI as it was. There's that over there. <laughs> you see? You see, Hoggerman? It does work at that resolution. Something else isn't quite right in the way you've set up. Double check. No, I'm not joining Team Sapphic. I am not playing the game like this. Oh my god, which one of these buttons is exit? I think it's that one. It is. Oh, thank god for that. Yeah, you literally can run the game at anything on the new engine, especially with the tweaks, if your system will handle it. Let's check my FPS. <laughs> Good luck reading that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I smoked for years and years and years, uh, Enerchy. Uh, and to quit the tobacco, I went on uh, vaping instead. And I did that like three or four years ago, something like that. So, yeah, I'm a lot healthier not smoking tobacco. All right, I'm going to just set things back to normal. Oh, my God, you must have the eyes of Eros, I think. Try that. I say yes for now because I can actually read it. There we go, native. I've got I knew I'd get there in the end. Yeah, there you go. So that's what I normally look at in ten bit. So now I need to fix this. It's because I am running a, a 1440p monitor on a 1080p stream, so it needed a bit of faffing around. It just goes between two monitors. In which case, start checking. I'll show you where to check. Go into settings and go into here. If you've got two monitors, yeah, you need to make sure you're on the correct one. It won't list the monitor. Hang on. <laughs> uh, oh, God, what is it? Two. I think it's actually listed here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, when you go here, it, that, that, and that are all how it sees the monitors differently. So if you're using two monitors, have a bit of a play around between that, that, and maybe that. It should be working on that one. Let me just make sure I've got that right. Now I've done all this, I'm probably going to have to spend five minutes getting it to work again. Let's have a look. No, that looks promising. Okay, I thought I'd broken something, to be honest with you. Okay. 
Yeah, that's normally the primary display, but not always with AO. Sometimes it can be a bit weird. So anyway, we're back to... Just picking up the game now. And that's the correct size, yeah. Right, so... Yeah, have a, have a play with those settings there and then double check that Windows and NVIDIA agree about what the primary display is because they don't always. The joys of, you know, first world problems getting your... Um... I'm just getting the mission. I'm told you could use some help. What do you mean? Someone invite me. There we go. Thank you very much. Bombing round. Have I done all the dialogue? Right, goodbye. Uh, tipping the scales. No, that's... I still don't have the mission. Doing about the overseer, the alien threat. No, right there. My God, come on. Anything I can do for you? Right, A. Goodbye. Right, okay. So, I'm up to speed. I've got A. This, oh, this is a 220, and it's been a 220 for a long time. <laughs> it's my first 220. Yeah, it's the old Advi. I'm with Savic doing um, other things. He's coming on quite well, though, I will say. The new AV has full auto now, and Savix 216. You've got to be 201 to get to this area anyway, so... I've got way more damage going ranged with the BBI. I wouldn't have bothered if not for that BBI pistol. Uh, we all check in for... Anyone that needs the coloured crystals, this is the time to check for them when we're in here now. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. You, you're going to have to make an excuse to bring a tablet to work. <laughs> Watch it on a tablet. <laughs> Seems like you're taking an awful lot of damage here. It's all tickety boo there. Oh. Mm. No, I'm not. That was weird. <laughs> Can't be bothered to set up your own laptop. I probably need the crystals on Kalos too, but I don't think he's got uh, immunity either. How is the stream? Is it a little dark for people? Would you like a little? Um, I'll do what we usually do, which is bump that up a bit and then just a little bit of contrast to balance it.
you know, having an 11 second full auto sold me on the idea of going ranged on the Advic. Because I'd already picked up the uh, BBI pistol. Which is an amazing thing. It's got such a low full auto cap. It's like a D Shark. As soon as it's on, you've got it, you know. 920. It's less than the requirement to equip it to get the uh, 11 second full auto with it. Kind of nuts. That one there. BBI face. It's from. Um, from the temple. I think. Is it the temple? Or, that? or is it the envoys from the temple? Might get an envoy as well. Instead of the Twitch pistol. But the Twitch I already had looted years ago. It comes as a reflex pistol from the. Um, from the thing, the prisoner, and then you, uh... Apply the modified hacking device. Um, get in the box. There you go. Okay, device. Goodbye. Right, okay. And we should be able to use fixer guns. Oh, the um, MV of the Zan. Yeah, probably could do. What's SMG, though? I would say yes, you can, but it's dark blue. And pistol is green. So it's a no-brainer to go pistol for Advi. We've lost a Savic somewhere, unless they've meeped or something. You're at De Gauss. Actually, Bitnik's map is better in here, gotta say. De Gauss, dig machine has been taken care of. Uh, what does she want? The device. Yep, there we go. Here with a card fragment. Oh, area B. Yes, take out the towers. Got the mission. So, yeah, I mean, you could do um, an RV. Pistol is... Looks like it's not max, like there's a bit there, but... Yeah, no, it is. Um, multi range is easy on uh, Advi. SMG is dark blue. Assault rifle would be easier to get a higher AR. And then on melee, you've got a bit more variety on melee if you look. Melee energy, one hand edge green, two hand blunt. They're, they're stronger on melee than they are on ranged. Uh, 
and Savik probably knows the way off by heart. Yeah, we have to split up for this one. You have to take all three down fairly close together in timing. I'll start clearing down this side. And we don't do massive damage, but I do enough. I'll go down to the last bubble. I mean, you can get them on, but your AR would be a bit suck. And also, we've got no perk support for them, so... Everyone's going to get there before me. <laughs> Okay. That's a fast respawn, is that? My god. Yeah, he he came up really, really quick there, didn't he? weapon is either Lust of the Zan pistol or Hatred of the Zan one hand edge. But you can use um, medi blades, stuff like that. You can use a lot more melee weapons effectively than most of the others. Even had melee energy on this guy once before. Like when you look at the melee uh, window, you can see there there's like green on one hand edge, but then you've also got um, pale blue on most of the others except for martial arts so it's pretty good whereas in ranged you've got pistol and like all the uh, two hand uh, pistol weapons like uh, SMG, shotgun, raged energy, heavy weapons dark blue and bow, assault rifle, rifle and grenade are all dark blue or oh, mid, mid blue
the Eumenides, the envoy. Yeah. Eumenides uh, envoy would be quite a good one, yeah. What's nice on the Twitch pistol is it's really low multi, 1500. Not that multi's a problem for Advies. Area C coming up. The only downside on the lobby using um, uh, the dog of war and the Job surveyor pistol is one one uses ra ranged energy ammo and the other uses um, bullets. So you've got to have two different an ammo types all the time. Surprise, your inventory is full. Yes, I know. The inventory is always bloody full. Well, the main reason it's full is I did a um, total IPR, so I had to strip everything off. So I had a bag for everything, and I still haven't tidied up since then. Plus, I, I do a lot of swapping of items. So. That said, I don't really need that in that in here anymore. I've got the illegally modified mongooses as well from the subway. I tried them for a little while, but they weren't as nice. As the hatred of the Zan, you see Max Health, Biomet. I took him off and I couldn't cast the top heal. Because <laughs> his IP was completely balked on this guy. Because um, I've just had him so long and tried so many different configurations before IPRs were a thing. That uh, he was a mess. Sadly, on their skill, when you look at the perks though, there's nearly no support for anything other than pistol and one hand edge. There's just nothing there, you know. Whereas Keeper, you can do both melee energy and uh, one and two hand edge weapons uh, on perks and gain from both of them anyway, whichever one you're actually wearing. So, in theory, you could do, you know, set up a Keeper so that he could do both. I got rutted. There we go, I'm free again. Someone's made a little house. Well, you've seen the desktop of my PC, it's exactly the same, it's completely chaotic. I'll, I'll be honest with you though, I am kind of a creative person, a mess always feels creative. Having problems with the stream? Oh god. Let me check. It's still up here. Frame rate's terrible because I've just tabbed out again. I can't heal here, guys. I'm 
Uh, too many engineers on me. Uh, yeah, I'm okay again now. Don't worry, as long as I can heal, I will be able to heal you through this. Even on a gimpy Adley. I give myself that. Extra nano resist. When is my inventory ever tidy? When it's tidy, everyone's like, ooh, you've tidied it. Mutant flea. Feels like we're back in... Um, <laughs> back in the high-level subway. God, we hammered that to death, didn't we? When it came out, we were like, let's get all the loot. Let's get all the loot. Where's the pit lizard? I want dragons. Well, it's not very practical. Poing, 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 yeah. Doing, doing. <laughs> they literally go doing. This is a cool little room. Bit of evades. Keep forgetting to use them. <laughs> and every time I zone, morphed in a cat, and the camera jumps over to the left side. Weird. Yeah, the flea sound. Doink, doink, doink. <laughs> it's bizarre. to run back out of this one. I'm looking at the planet map. Since when has this stream been practical? Yeah. <laughs> there ain't nothing practical about any of this. Oh, they're back. Okay. you guys find a quicker way out? I'm going to be cheesed off if you did. I just wanted to get past these. Otherwise, you just get this massive snare, and then you are in trouble because you can't outrun the guys in here. Yeah, I could use Pit Lizard, but. It's like horses for courses right now. What I want to do is more damage to keep up with, uh, you know, like NAs and, and the like. So I don't look, make myself look bad. So the aura that comes with the cat, I'll show you now. So the whole team is getting an extra 71 to all damage and 110 to all off. 
pit lizard. Not really anymore. I mean, I've got it on there. So, on the Advi, it gives you f a load of ACs and gives you 10 to aggressiveness. But they made the scale 20%. It used to be huge, like the ones in um, Inferno. Uh, and it could fly. But it doesn't anymore. It used to be able to nuke from the sky in it. it was m that was just amazing. Left and right. And then the aura for Pit Lizard. Um, can't remember what it does, if anything. I think you just get a nuke. Yeah. Practice incin incineration. Uh, which is a taunt and ACs. It's it's not really no. Yeah, Team Poly Nanos. They got rid of them and then they put them back. But if you'd already lost them because they got rid of them, you didn't get them back. Which knocked me off no end. I can be honest with you about that. So had I not logged my Advi in after the 18.7 patch, um then when I finally did log him in, it would have just gone, there you go, you keep more further and team. But because I logged him in after the patch, they were deleted from the database, so they were deleted off my character, which is my, my favourites, has got like tons of gaps in it. Um, I mean, I, it used to play Advi completely differently. I'll have my root resist as well. You can get up to near 100% root resistance on an Advi with the perks and everything. I was a bit narked that mine got deleted because I logged in after the patch and I can't have them back like everybody else did. And it wasn't until someone said, no, I've still got mine. I was like, what? How the hell have you got yours? <laughs> like, kind of annoyed. But yeah, they, they logged into game and, and buffed me with it. And they have it legitimately, they just hadn't played their um, Advi in the intervening time. Now, this is the bigger one, isn't it? We've got to go to lots of locations inside here. Yeah, your Advi probably you hadn't logged him on right after the 18.7 patch, so you're you're one of the lucky ones. And I'm not alone in that. A lot of people had that problem, you know, weren't weren't happy about it. From memory though, this one you do need to get, I think it's several locations inside here. But Savic knows the way really, really well. He went, no, run this way, it's a shortcut. <laughs> We're like, yay! But yeah, it used to be Advi buffs were much more welcome in team. I mean, God, I remember doing beast runs where, like, the whole team was, um, Right, or entire raid force, all as leets. You know, that was really awesome. I 
Relay Station number one. You can get so lost in here. Beep, bop, bop, beep. What am I putting in? Unicorn quantum information thingy, isn't it? Is that the right thing? Yep. Yeah, I've, I've got like one of the cheapo... Um, someone was asking about vapes earlier. I've, I've just got like a, um, a reasonable one. It's not um, like big clouds of vapour. Or whatever, it's it's nothing like that. It's a instead of being a uh, tobacco smoker, it's literally just that. It's like it's still bad for you. There's no, you know, the only thing you should put in your lungs is fresh air, but um, it's a hell of a lot less bad uh, than uh, smoking is. The health service looked at it in great detail and um, did various tests and, and whatnot and said, yeah, it's a, the equivalent um, the difference between like living in a city and living in the countryside. Obviously the air in the countryside is usually better. But you are breathing in a lot of crap in, in cities and such. So, as soon as I, I did it, I, you know, I put on weight and <laughs> all the things that happen when you actually quit smoking completely. Um, and my voice changed slightly as well. It got, um, someone said, richer. So that's, that's something as well, I suppose. I tell you what I do notice is I don't cough all the time. I used to be coughing every five seconds or something, you know, ridiculous. And I didn't really realise how bad it was until, until I started making videos. Um, because I'd be editing all the coughing out. And so when you have to sort of like go in and, and mute or cut out each time you're, you know, coughing, you, you suddenly realise in the last five minutes you've, you've had to edit yourself coughing. Um, you know, four or five times, I'm like, that's, that's bad. Um, but, but since then, no, it's like maybe once or twice an hour, I might cough, especially if I'm yabbering away like this, and I'm just sat on my own not talking, or just out walking, I hardly ever cough. So yeah, if you do smoke and you find it hard to quit, try vaping to get off the tobacco. Save yourself a ton of money as well. But you will feel better. Your sense of taste comes back and your sense of smell. Uh, you may put on weight, but hey, that's not as bad as the smoking is, so don't worry about it too much. Medical advice from a totally unqualified person. Daylights are going to tell me off now. <laughs> Only things you put in your lungs, fresh air. You know, unless you're going down to a really uh, high pressure, then you're gonna have to mix with uh, helium instead of nitrogen because it becomes toxic after so many atmospheres. So, like serious deep dives, people going down to the bottom of oil rigs and things like that uh, that I need to uh, pressurize down there. They have to. They all sound squeaky because instead of um, oxygen and nitrogen, they're on helium and nitrogen. And it, the helium isn't doing anything to your voice. It is simply a different part of your vocal cords resonating more loudly in the helium. So that's a thing as well. Boron has the opposite effect. And you instantly sound like you've got a, one of those kiddies Darth Vader, Darth Vader masks that changes your voice lower. Oh. 
Yeah, helium isn't, um, you know, there, there was, people would say like, oh, you should never, never breathe in the helium, you know, because it, it's contracting your, your vocal cords. It's not. Your vocal cords move normally. It's what is resonant from your vocal cords. Your vocal cords don't produce a sine wave. It's hundreds of uh, waveforms coming off them. Um, which is why, you know, you, people can sing in such a range. They change the, the shape of the back of their head and all the um, sinus pathways and everything else. You can control them as a singer. That's why they call it head voice. You actually start to talk and let the resonance happen right up at the back of your nose and your voice sounds like this. You're not actually raising the pitch of your voice. Because you try and tighten your vocal cords that much, that's when it, you strain your voice singing. So you can, you can train yourself to speak lower, but you're not actually changing much about your vocal cords. I mean, th th there's a certain amount you can do, which is, you know, why you can sing in um, so many registers and everything, but, um, yeah. That's to do with mouth shape, sinuses, and the parts of the back of your throat and things like that. So my voice naturally just resonates a lot in my chest. Um, that's just how it sounds when I'm not doing anything else, you know, so... That's why it kind of sounds the way it does. I think a lot of other people trying to reach volume instead of using air, they, they, they tense their vocal cords, which makes their voice higher. Humming is a good example, you know, because when you that's almost all your vocal cords, that's the pitch they're at. And mine are, you know, I've got quite a, um, I'm quite big, so I am, I sound lower because the geometry is, is bigger. But it's not always the case. You can get people that are huge and they're really pinched, high-sounding voices. You just... <laughs> Resonances, yeah, that's it, yeah. It is quite literally that. There's, there's a multitude of different frequencies coming off the vocal cords and it's just how the rest of your, the breathing system and everything else reacts to that. I mean, you look how long the neck of an elk is, and yet when it bleats, it's it's the sound the roller rats make, more or less. Really high pitched, um, and it's because the sound is being forced up and over there behind their nose. Things that go directly from the the vocal cords to the the mouth have a lower tone. You know, if, you, if you imagine something like a um, Probably more like a trom not a trombone, but like a um, a brass instrument, like an oboe or something like that. Just sending the air different ways changes the pitch. Your lips are still going at the other end, which is all your vocal cords are actually doing. It's going. It's the, the rest of it that changes the sound. There you go. progress here. Uh, after we do this one, I want to go and get a um, glass of water. We'll go and do an immunity run afterwards if we've got time.
we should have time. Right, I'm getting some water right now. to remove the device and then goodbye right okay I'm good is there a quick way out Sav follow the Savic second full auto on the Adri is nice to have though. to do in here, aren't they? From memory. Two more to go. I thought there was, yeah. There's a lot lot of um, area to cover in here. I remember the first time ever doing it, and I can't even remember what tune it was. Maybe my soldier. And, um, yeah, we got lost God knows how many times. It was like, it was like a whole evening just doing this we didn't quite know you know if we were going the right way or not like we think we were going the right way and, and run into you know dead end a bit like arid rift the first time you go there you're like oh, i don't know where i am how do i get to the this it looks like it's right here on the map and the waypointer doesn't change to let you know that it's there it just says it's at this location and you think yay and then you run all the way down the side and go, I can't get to it, it's behind this wall. And it is, literally behind the wall. If you could fly in there, you'd easily do it. <laughs> you'd do it so damned fast, it's silly. Remove the device. There's my first bit. Second one. Now Morty's got them, I'll start looting. And put them somewhere. Savik knows this so damn well. Man, these aren't the ones I need now. I've got the gold. The stream's a bit hit and miss today. Is it? Is anyone else getting the stream dropping out or anything? Seems okay here. Not getting any drop frames or anything like that. So it's it's going out okay. Maybe it's Twitch. Yeah, it's probably Twitch then, because on my end it's showing zero drop frames. And it will tell me. Now we were trying I was trying to stream Cyberpunk, but my system was so overloaded. Um, it could barely do it, and it was dropping frames all over the place and stuttering. 
Yeah, I think it's just Twitch. I would maybe restart your browser. Or, you know, something like that, maybe. But yeah, it's, it's hitting Twitch okay. But Twitch relies on propagation. So the stream goes out and then it's sort of buffered, a bit like um, torrent, you know, between other viewers and stuff. So you might be one of the people that's, you know, buffering it and your system's a bit overloaded. So what you can do is just completely restart your browser, close it right down and exit, and then restart it, and then Twitch treats you as a new viewer kind of thing. It's up to you if you want to if you want to try that. Usually just hitting refresh will do it, but I mean, I've got everything set as perfect as it can be, what, you know, the, the thing that everybody recommends, etc, etc, so you should be getting back something like that, and when I view it, it looks fine. So I must be in an area where it's all there. I T O Derry, damn, I miss it. Oh, did you want to do this as well? Oh, damn. We're a little far ahead now, I'm afraid. Key fragment left. Yep, got it. Yes, follow the Savic. There's sure to be another one soon enough, don't worry. Usually end up doing this more than twice a year. I hacked the six terminals. I also found this key card. But you don't have to give her. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Area E. Get, Sav's the only girl I know who's good with maps. Oh! <laughs> Shots fired. I'm on my Advi and I have a few old Advi instruction discs. Ah. If it, any of them are more further, let me know. <laughs> I'll try and make them. Thing is, I don't know if they're makeable anymore. Like, if I do... Um, uh, playful Cub. No, is it two words? Wait a minute. There it is, yeah. Okay. So you've got grafts, Playful Cub other, Playful Cub team still exists in the database, and I had them. I had Callia's form other. So I can probably get them. So hang on, if I do... Nano. Oh, wait. Yeah, Rubicar store, so I can go and get them at least. Some of them. Uh, what are we doing? E. I am. I'm doing E. Elite friend. Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll go get them all again. But I'm just miffed that they all got deleted in the first place. You know. <laughs> P 
plus the Callias forms were better than the current one, which you but you get you get the first one and it gets better and better as uh, your skills go up. But originally it was like if you could cast Callias morph, you could cast Callias morph, and the parrot, like Sparrow Flight, didn't actually fly, but Callias morph um, parrot did. So it was like a bit of bragging rights to actually have that because it gave actual flight. It was a um, Rubicar mission roll as well. Bloody hard to get it. Took me a long time to get the mission for it, but I could cast it way below the quality of the uh, the item. I mean, I didn't like 99% of what they did with Advi in the 18.7 patch, but I did like most of the other stuff, you know, so. Gotta take the rough with the smooth, I guess. make the disc. There's two methods, that's the problem. Sabertooth other, yeah, it'll fail because it doesn't exist in the game anymore. Callias forms don't exist. Yeah, this my Advi had it. Had them all. Had every single morph, like um, Nano, Callia, none. <laughs> I mean, how sad is that? So the instruction disc probably exists. Yeah, there you go. So the instruction discs exist, but the nano doesn't. Which is a shame, really. It's just run on a different system now. Because I used to do Callias Morph Team, you know. Red. Uh, so I just need green there, which is quite easy. The engineers drop that quite well. What Cali is more, and it worked. Ah, maybe I need to do a bit more investigating with this. I just remember on the day 18.7 went live, I logged into this character and went, where the fluff are all my nanos? You know, and why isn't this working? Why are my heels crap? What happened to my short, quick heel? You know, and all that sort of stuff. Because they had, we had short, um, quick heels that went in between on a different cooldown to say a main heel or a team heel. But you had to be in a morph to use it, like lick wounds and stuff like that. And that all got deleted. And I just didn't want to play. I was just like, that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna level my fixer instead. <coughs> and I just didn't play them again. Tab, we have lost your Tab's got a bearings, we're okay. Follow the Savic! Londis, welcome to the stream. Always a pleasure, sir. How the devil are you? remember escorting people through Shadowlands and using um, Callia's Morph, Team Morph, Parrot, just so we could get through it a lot faster. Even though it didn't fly in Shadowlands, 
you know, you, you were still going like <laughs> the clappers. his form team worked as well mm. well I don't have it anymore I most definitely did there's just blank space in here like loads of gaps and I was like what what the hell and like on my hotbars I'd have it along here like I've still got Callia's morph team yeah you don't have this nano <laughs> so it's buggered, isn't it? You know what I mean? Hell gear. Hello, Kalos 2, the sexiest voice in AO. Really? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Gear is now following. Thank you for the follow. Full with soldier and AMS. Ah, all right. Do you have Zazen, Morty? I could go wolf, give everyone a bit more death. But for some reason, my nano skills aren't high enough. Wait, what? Sensip is meant to be seventeen seventy seven. And Wolf Aura is there. I wonder why I can't cast it. Maybe I had a different buff running. And then I need to sort these out, but lycanthropic dexterity, which for the whole team, um, as former Servius, lycanthropic for the whole team gives them 110 all def, a load of perception, and run speed of 440. <laughs> it worth to use a reflex pistol on an Advi? Yes, and it's easily upgradable. The prisoners that drop the reflex drop crude upgrades, and if you use a crude upgrade it turns into this, the Twitch pistol. Again, locked to Advi, and it's 225 to 500, 200 chance on crit. Gives a bit of more XP, resist snare and stuff. Yeah, it's a good pistol. Uh, Lust of the Zan might be slightly better, but has a much higher uh, multi. It's only 1500 multi on the uh, Twitch and the Reflex. And then use it with the BBI for an instant 11 second full auto, because in it, if we put that in here, BBI Faithful 1000, oh it doesn't say, but yeah, 920 caps the uh, the full auto recharge on it, it's really, really low. Yeah, we've had some uh, guild bot issues. We had a temporary one, and now Stormy Bot's back up, but it's running on different um, coding or what? I don't know. I don't have anything to do with it <laughs> other than feeding back when it's not working. Uh, so, yeah. Is this one a tough fight? I can't remember.
I'm still hosting it just you oh right 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 I'm with you it's still the same bot right okay oh she hits like a train we've got reflect but yeah we haven't got a dock have we I mean we could do this fight twice Savic I could just run in with my dock and then do it again Only 93. You want to get Dogs of War at that level. Dog of War and maybe a Job Surveyor if you can get one. They work for Advi or for Soldier. They're literally two different pistols. Morty bought his dock to save us. Yay! <laughs> I was going to say, we could double up. You know, I'd log my dock, kill this, and then all run back in maybe with your dock and kill it again. Hell gear. Been trying to get back into AO now and then. Watching when watching your YouTube videos. Yeah, <laughs> they started off as just like little guides for things that I got tired of explaining all the time. And then people said, "Do a do a like a whole you know one to two to any thing." And I went, "Yeah, okay." Do a playthrough, and I was like, "Yeah, sure." I buffed myself melee when I should have buffed myself range. Wait there. Yeah, that'll be under size somewhere. Oh god, she's here. Pistol expertise, no. Uh, you know what? Never mind right now. I didn't pull her. Oh, look at me. I can't heal. Well, let me heal. Executing nano programs, yada yada yada. I can't heal. Now we can heal. Yeah, just, just you, well, you saw the message. Like, screw you, you're not healing. I don't know what the hell that is. Is that her debuff or something? See, I've got every bloody nano under the sun here. I don't have any of the composite range ones. Are you kidding me? Pistol expertise. I must have them. This is what you get for resurrecting old tunes, you know. Confused. Yeah, see, that's the old composite melee expertise, eight hours. And the new one, which is, doesn't, doesn't have the time in the description, but does it? Composite range special expertise. That should be there. That's one of the newer ones. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just forgot to do it. I don't know. God knows. Got two dogs of war with help from my agent. Yeah, just farming. Spin nano web. No, it worked. Always worth a try. Twenty six minute snare. I mean, it will work, but as soon as you shoot her, it'll break. So has she got like an AOE um, nano shutdown or something? Because I was getting, um, you can't cast nano programs. 
which it wasn't helpful. Yeah, my new advy, I've got it set up, so I've got that, then the aura, cat, then the aura, you know, and so on. Maybe go back to this, I don't know. I quite like the defensiveness. Form of Serbius, run speed at level 220, 800. <laughs> 330 dodge range, 330 to all evades, and then perception for 880 that then stacks with the aura which gives adult death for 110 so yeah you're quite defensive in wolf Yeah, but Jeeva does a ton of damage in NT. Yeah, farm up some Dogs of War. You'll be good for a while on those. I'm not sure what the next stage is with pistols, because I never had pistols by then on my Adwi. And they, Dogs of War didn't exist. I had BBI... Um, not BBI. Uh, Desert Reek. Uh, IMI 1000s from oh, Biomare. I had those on Kalos 2 back in the day. Then we used BBI pistols, but they were nowhere near as good as that. That one with the full auto on it. In fact, I think they just hit hard with crits, and that was about it. Nanos I already have. And Nano Can I don't need, because he's completely finished all his uh, stuff. I'll leave, I'll keep the uh, Resurrection Sickness one, so <laughs> I'll pass these to my uh, little Adv later. I remember it being a pain in the bum to kill, like harder than the the main boss fight at the end, but damn. Seen a trader with modded and dying line kick pistols. PDKPs. Yeah, my trader's got a pair of them. They were like, everyone was using them at one point because they, they really are good. Uh, but then they nerfed the crit damage on them a little and people are like mixing it up now more which is kind of the right thing it should be a bit more mixed it shouldn't be everyone using the exact same weapons all the time you know on every class <laughs> even after the nerf even after the nerf the um, diamond lines are still a good pistol I've knowing I mean they're technically a shotgun um, and I use them on on my uh, trader. I've got no intention of changing them. Make sure you're getting the aura. Yeah, are we ready? I'm ready. Oh, you do it through Steam, I think. Savik will explain it in a second. You you know how to look up a key or something like that. It, it, it's something weird. It's not just straight out the claim window, you go 
I think you have to input a code or something weird. We'll, we'll get this boss down and then I'm sure Savic can do it for you, tell you. Download from Steam. Fluster Cluck says download AO from Steam. Which enables you to see the DLCs, copy the key and paste it onto the account page. There you go. No, she's definitely there. You got it? Good man. NT can't see her. Can't attack her. Um, fluster cluck. <laughs> that's what I said because that's what it's written as. F L U S T E R C L U C K A O. Or Foxtrot Lima Uniform Sierra Tango Echo Romeo Charlie Lima Uniform. Charlie Kilo AO <laughs> Fluster Cluck Don't forget my accent's weird as well, so you get to my age and you've lived in as many places, you basically have a unique accent, I think. Starting attack failed. Is she bugged? Yeah, it's not having it. I can't attack her. So I think she's bugged. I don't think she's where she is. Pain in the bum. We're going to have to come back in again. Zleric, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm getting bits of lag and, and something here. We're just going to blitz out. We're going to have to kill all these again anyway, so... Lost cluck. Ayo, has followed. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, we're blitzing out. Yeah, because we're going to have to fight our way back in, so save time. Sound is bugged. Uh oh. Why? What's the sound doing?
Nobody else has mentioned bugged sound. <laughs> they said the stream was stuttering or something, but... Do we need to reform team as well, or...? You're good. Okay, sound is good there. Savic, no one else has mentioned sound, so maybe it is just Twitch being a bit crap today. I don't know. Right, okay. New team. Grab the mission again, I think, as well. Because you haven't got the buff. Area E. Trust me, I can handle it. I T O Derry. I've no clue what happens today, but Callus Stream is just glitching. Okay, I can restart the stream, but do you guys do you want me to restart before we go back in here? All right, I'm going to restart the stream.